Well, hey, YouTube. Welcome to another video of Chuck's Licks. <laughs> um, okay. All right. No, that's, that's pretty silly. But uh, anyway, uh, so I got a new one for you. Um, this is an idea that um, that's relatively recent to my kind of bag of tricks, but it's one I really like. Um, uh, I would say out of the... Um, Busier rhythms, I, I definitely love triplets in general. I just, whether eighth note, sixteenth note, I just, I love triplets. Um, so this is one that I, uh, I really like to play. Uh, and it's, um, and it's fairly easy, as, as most of my ideas are. They're all pretty easy. Um, okay, so the sticking of this, now this is all sixteenth note triplets, okay? So it's going to be, uh, it's going to start with a double bass drum, a right hand accent, Okay, so foot, foot, right hand accent, and then right into a left-handed six-stroke roll. Okay, all right, so um, what I'll do is I'll just play it for you real quick so you, so you can hear it, okay? All right, check this out. Okay, so that's the pattern. Um, so I, I'd maybe start with that first if, if you feel like you need to. Um, but to turn it into a one measure fill, the way this is going to work is you'll play that pattern twice. Okay? Now the third time you'll be on count four, so you can't play the entire pattern again because it's too long, so you have to cut it off. Okay? So on the third time, you can either stop, uh, you can go foot, foot, right, left, and stop on that left, okay, which that will put you on the end of four. Or you can add, um, or you can go foot, foot, right, left, right, right, okay, which is the first half of the pattern, and then crash with your left hand, okay? So what I'll do is I'll play both of those um, really slow uh, with everything on the snare drum just so you can hear that in time. Okay, let's check that out. Okay, so that's it. That's the whole that's the whole enchilada, as they say. Okay. Uh, now, as far as which ending uh, resolution you should do, that's up to you. Okay, I use both. It just kind of depends on on what I want to do. I probably do the one uh, where it stops on the end of four, maybe more often, I guess. But you know, they're they're both fun. Okay. So from here, the only thing to do is to start orchestrating it. So what I like to do. Uh, and I really don't do a whole lot with orchestration, is um, I do the foot foot and I put that first right, I almost always put that on a tom, okay? And then that accent left, I almost always put on um, a snare drum, but it can go on, on, on a tom as well. Um, 
And then from there, um, you know, I just try, I keep most of the double strokes, or actually I keep all the double strokes on the snare drum, and I'm mainly just moving around the singles that are in the passage. So what I'm going to do is just, uh, I'll do it really slow, and I'll show you a couple of those orchestrations. Again, um, you know, be creative, okay? Uh, all the double strokes I'm keeping on the snare drum, okay? Uh, the only notes I'm moving around are the singles, okay? So let's give that a shot real quick. Well, 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 <laughs> that's that's all there is to it. Real simple, okay? So, uh, again, I'm only moving the single strokes around the drum. So there's, you know, only so many options I guess you can do there. All the doubles, again, I'm keeping on the snare. And really, your goal is to try to keep the doubles as even as you can, and as well as as low as you can. Uh, and, of course, bring out the singles. Um, but that's it, man. That's the that's the basic idea. It uses a classic two over three uh, polyrhythm, uh, but it's it's a lick I really like and I use it a lot. All right, um, it's one of my uh, one of my favorites for sure, uh, along with the others. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys next time for another round of Chuck's licks. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, take care. We'll see you.